Rachel. I've been looking for you. Why are you here? Listen, um, your site manager just called and complained that things have not been moving well because of your absence. And if you continue like this, the site might collapse. Have you been listening to... This again? Let me, let me have this. What is wrong with you? Okay. I believe this is why you have not been listening to whatever I say. I need to get rid of back to me. Give what back to you? Give what back to you? Give what back to you in particular? What do you want me to give to you? What? You need to get your life. Taking his sample, I will inform Dr. Kinsley about the test. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Um, please do tell Dr. Kinsley that I appreciate. He's been a source of help to this family. Um, one more thing. Can you help him with the lab test? Sure. Thank you. I beg to take my leave now. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I want to prepare something special for my son as soon as he's up. Okay. Slept like a log of wood. Good afternoon. It's evening. Church, you listen. You don't need to pretend as though 
everything is fine when it's obviously not. It's been two years since your wife passed and all your actions shows that you want to join her. Listen, you are my only son. I cannot sit and watch anything happen to you. Please, can you stop already? Am I supposed to act? I should have existed. No! All I ask is that you don't only leave, but exist. Chocho, you were full of life before now. But since your wife passed, you've turned to an entirely different person. You don't eat normally nor sleep except for the sedatives that suppresses your insomnia. What should I talk about the numerous therapies that I paid heavily to bring you back to normalcy? All proved abortive. Listen. I am now standing in the space of not just a mother, but as a friend. Tell me, Churchill, what can I do to make things better? Bring back Rose from the dead. It's impossible. Georgia Rose is gone and never coming back. I know you loved your late wife so dearly, but she is gone and you have to accept that. If not, the same love you feel for her will consume you. I can't watch you. I can't watch you break. Please, stop already. Mr. Churchill, if I must help you, you would, you would have to tell me everything. When I say everything, I mean everything about your late wife inclusive. You see, the purpose of this uh, section is not just for you to be able to forget about your wife and that unfortunate incident that claimed her life, but also to put you at an advantage where you would have less pain and the hurt that it brings when you have to think about it. Again, I want to ask you, are you willing to tell me everything so we can have a successful section as it is now? Mr. Churchill? Can you hear me? Are you ready to talk to me? Churchill is my only child, the only eye that I see with. I can sit and watch him slip through my fingers. No, not after everything I have done to make him who he is today. And all the sacrifices that I have made to bring him thus far. 
It's time for me to do that which I was supposed to do a long time ago. Yes. Okay, I beg, move this. I want to ask you something. What do you want? How you think they enjoy this music where they play, where they sound like waiting that they play for burial ceremony? What do you want here? Food done, they ready, and I don't serve them, so I come to ask you. I'm not hungry. But, Oga, okay, One more word from you. And I swear it's going to be your last. Sorry, sir. What is it? The chef said you're not hungry. She told you correctly. For how long do you intend starving yourself? I want you to follow me to the dining. Besides, you know I don't like eating alone. So let's go. You can learn. I, I, I can do what? I will not tolerate you talking to me in that manner. Have you lost it? Chacha, I, I, I don't know what is wrong with you. Are you the first that lost his wife in the cold hands of that? You're not the first widower on this earth. So why are you behaving as if your late wife died with a part of you? Yes, it is. I loved her with all of my heart. And when she died, my heart died alongside. I forbid you from speaking such nonsense. What is wrong with you? I didn't raise you up to be Lily Lizard. I raised up a man who is to be a man when men are at home. A man who is bold enough to courageously face his fears and not grieve over them. A man who is thrown into the world and will come out leading the pack. And that man you must be. So snap out of this mood and follow me to the dining. Did I remind you? It's not a request. It's an order. Now get on. Up! Mr. Churchill, I can understand how you feel and I'm certain and very sensitive to your plight. You see, losing someone is like uh, just an amputation of the lung. The pain can be very excruciating at the first instant, but it heals with time. You see, it's been years down the line, this pain right now ought to have healed. But as the day goes by, it burrows deeper and deeper and deeper. Listen to me, Mr. Churchill. Listen. If you want the purpose of this section to be very, very successful, you would have to open up your mind. Mr. Churchill? Are you listening to every word I'm saying? All right, then. 
I'm going to tell you a little story about myself. A true life story. And afterwards, you can tell me yours. So do we have a deal now? Do we? Like sheet. Oh, the food we carry, you know, sweet. Tell me, tell me the truth. Don't be the food, mind they worry me. They are no, what do you what, what your problem? No, carry they do like person where they, they call depression. Huh? What do you mean depression? Depression means people when they day happy at all. <sighs> when life don't tire them. All those people where they commit suicide. See, in Yabon, I don't think you say your business for this house, you have two business. Oh. But the main one is to take care of me, what be your future husband to be. Then the second one is to cook for a girl and madam. Now you be all for this house. Make I see what you carry. You know, ever since the madam died, Oka just the day depressed, you know the day happy at all. Every day when they play one kind of music, where they play for burial ground, you know they happy. That one is a business. Even put them to meet for me. See ya. See ya. I'll make you now. You will feel happy. <laughs> I'll put you in the mood. Like, make I play your favorite song for you. So that you dance. Lege, 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 lege. <laughs> to get to the mall. I, I need to get some personal stops. Alone? That's impossible. Mom, how do you mean alone? Am I also grounded in this house? Of course, you and I know that you are not psychologically sound. So you mustn't be let alone out there. If you insist on going out, it should be in the company of your driver and at least one security man. Mom, I don't need to go out with any of them. I need my privacy. Besides, I am not incapacitated. I can drive myself. Well, if you insist, it totally means that you don't want to go out. Listen, Churchill. Just know that I am looking out for you. Mom. You make me feel as though I'm a time bomb waiting to explode. Well. All right, fine. Guys, I believe you know your jobs. You know your job jurisdictions in this house. Do your job. Have a nice time, son. I love you. Where's my son? I'm, I'm sorry, man. We were on transit when he ordered the biggie to pull over. And again, ordered us out of the car. What? 
my threatened dogs. Let me shut up. You bunch of idiots. Can you listen to yourself talk? I specifically gave an order for you to do your jobs. Biggie for you to drag my son to the mall. And you, and you're here telling me nonsense. Spewing nonsense! You're not telling me that my son's order are more superior than mine, your employer? We are sorry. Go shut up before I cling your tongue to the roof of your mouth! Punch of nuisance. You know that my son is not psychologically sound to drive himself, yet you let him drive! How clueless can both of you be? I should not only sack you for negligence of duties, I will arrest you for endangering my son's life. Sorry, ma'am, please. It will happen again. I swear to God, it will not happen again. Of course, it will not repeat itself. Pray that my son comes back in one piece. Now get out. Out! Come on, don't be ridiculous. This is purely coincidental. And don't tell me we're coincidentally going the same way. <laughs> oh my God. I'm Nico. I'm Churchill. <laughs> okay, can I... We could coincidentally go somewhere and hang out. What do you say? About. I give an instruction for your security man to drive you to the mall. Oh, that. And wait for you to come back with them. But you made them leave. Why would I be? Oh, that. Oh, that! Do you know that you almost cost them their job? But I didn't. Because obviously they're standing here. They're us. standing there doing what? Now tell me, what are they doing? Waiting for you to return so that you can sack them? You know that you are psychologically not sound. You're not supposed to be out there alone, let alone driving. Because your mental health is not sound. A mom who made you a judge over my mental health. For God's sake, I am 101% aware of my actions, okay? I only went out there alone because I wanted my privacy and space. That's all. Privacy? Space? Yes. I am tired of hearing that word from you. Ever since your wife passed, you've been a shadow of yourself. Are you talking about mental sound? How? Where is it? Because I'm not seeing any. No, listen. Let this be the first and the last time. 
a stupidity of synonymous of what you exhibited out there would happen. Yes. Good afternoon. What is it? There's a lot of things that have gone wrong with your actions. You walk us are no longer doing your job. You are losing in business and friends. Why do I pay you so well to fill in the gap when I'm not supposed to work? Now, heaven gave me with me that I'm doing my work very well. But you have not been to sex for some time now. And there's my need to be confident. Get back to work. Do your job. Cha Cha. Yes, ma'am. I've been meaning to ask you. When do you intend on resuming work? I have no idea when. May I know why? Because I've lost the urge to work, ma'am. For two years you've been brooding and you cannot find any space to resume work. Listen. Enough of this brooding over your wife. Enough. She's late. I will advise you as a mother. The only way out of this brooding is to start work. And the earlier you started, the better for you. What do you respect, Mom? I demand you accord my wife some respect. Late wife. Is it a crime for a man to mourn? To mourn a woman who meant everything to him? Listen, it is not bad. But you overdoing it. I lost your father when. I was little, very, very tender. And I mourned him like a good wife should mourn a husband, then moved on. Not because I can do it, but because of people around me, people who loved me and people who were looking up to me, especially you. You should love me as your mother and respect me. You should have seen me. Say what? By the way, I go take here. From me now to my equipment spot, I be winch. Jump with stone, the Chris. It felt as though Oga and Madan were breaking buttons, Oga three. <laughs> yes. You mean Oga and Madan? They break bottle for the house. As if they be two aboros. Hmm. I hear that sound too. And the last time where I hear that can sound, nah. When I did kitchen they cook. Now I one rat come visit me. Hmm. Now I can they jump up and down, they run. I can't break a uh, breakable plate. I can't go see Madame no the house. Wait till I for tell her. Hey, and wait until I say they or call for that room, sir. Biggie went to their rescue. He's the only one that can say what conspired. Hmm. See, go, go, conspire with you. He the Chris, who? So he gave mind, they speak English. Eh? If this problem jam you and I, eh? He goes, forget this your English and speak pigeon. And if Madame catch me, it's one thing. It's one thing. Hey! With a complaint of one grammar. They speak another grammar. Waiting consign and uh, uh, waiting for that. Everest and dropping. Waiting consign. Be careful with that grammar. I don't 
don't understand. The uh, garden of Eden will be here, so. This yeah. should be say, this girl, this, this girl grandma, eh, they give me a headache. Me headache. Those people think you come from. Hmm. Hmm. See, I don't go. Man, no day. I don't talk anything. No. See, I'm there. I don't go. I'm sorry, there's no food. I'm sorry, I don't have any money with me. Unfortunately, I did not make sales today. Sister, you didn't make sales, so you threw your goods away. Sister, sometimes you just you just act on impulse without without considering the negative effect it will have on me and Papa. You just act. If you love us the same way you claim, you do you won't be doing some certain things now. Can I know your chuko. I don't love you and Papa. And I dropped out of school to make sure I take care of you and Papa. I don't love you and Papa. But any money I make from my business, I don't even buy ordinary brazier for myself. I take care of you and your papa. Ordinary today that this thing happened, you're making it seem like I've not been taking care of you. I know it's all about you, it's all about papa. You don't care about me. I explained to you that somebody wanted to kill me. And this is all you have to say that I don't love you, papa. God knows. My name is Zach Orji, and I'd like to encourage you to watch quality Nollywood movies on Sony Reaching Nolly TV. My name is Frederick. My name is Yo, Yo, Edoche. Go and subscribe to Sony Reaching Nolly TV.